Bob Brookshire mapped a source to sea expedition of the Savannah River, which forms the border between Georgia and South Carolina. Shadows dance on the road, traveling down this winding road to return. River Dog, my son Jesse, and I joined Bob to explore the river, connecting with people and communities. We hiked, then paddled over 400 miles, celebrating the beauty and diversity, and witnessing threats to the watershed. The blue Our Source to Sea Savannah River Pilgrimage 2015 marked the 70th anniversary of the Atomic Age. The Savannah River watershed is host to five commercial nuclear reactors, a nuclear bomb complex, a radioactive waste dump, and two new reactors under construction. At the headwaters, the Chattooga River is the crown jewel of wild and scenic rivers. By the time it reaches the coast, the Savannah is arguably the third most toxic river in the United States. We paddled four lakes and portaged seven dams, the last one below Augusta, Georgia. Below Augusta, the Savannah River site on the South Carolina side and Plant Vogel's two reactors on the Georgia side leak radioactive contamination into the river, harming the Shell Bluff community and on downstream. Regulators are slow to admit any problems. Not all who supported our trip oppose nuclear energy. They do oppose the huge water withdrawals necessary for cooling in the process of producing nuclear energy at Plant Vogel. The nuclear industry is a major employer from Augusta to Savannah in Georgia and from Aiken on down in South Carolina. There are other threats to the coastal region, pipelines, logging, industrial pollution, harbor deepening, and proposed offshore oil drilling. Activist friends are working hard on these issues and need our support. This short film highlights the radioactive threats. Black and white, red. Nuclear fission creates massive quantities of new radioactive elements that can harm living cells, all living plants, animals, and people. Radioactive industries impact each community, but also our shared water, air, and enduring soil, and future generations for hundreds of thousands of years. It is time to end the atomic age and seriously address the radioactive legacy it leaves behind. The Savannah River and all our relations deserve nothing less. We found one thing more powerful than fission, people and our loving hearts.